Uh, good morning everyone and welcome to this much anticipated new dual carriageway. This is a great day for Cornwall and the people of Cornwall. Uh, the Resurrectionist project began with the commitment and enthusiasm of the members of the Jewel the A30 campaign. It's fantastic news for Cornwall. It's going to help with the tourist industry. Uh, we've already heard that people who were hesitating about coming down because of traffic congestion are rethinking their plans. So it should be a real boost this season. But it's also all about connectivity to the rest of the UK. Uh, and it's part, it, it, this isn't just a single project, this is part of a much bigger scheme to integrate the transport network across the county. Now some critics have said that really this is just for the benefit of the tourists and it hasn't done very much to help local people. What's your answer to that? It's going to do a huge amount to open up Cornwall in terms of economy, uh, with connectivity, hopefully with a, a link eventually through to St Austell and off to Newquay, to Truro, uh, and of course the next step, well, as soon as we finish this, we'll be working on Carling Cross to Chiverton. Uh, is there a risk that opening a dual carriageway here is just going to shunt the problem a bit further down west and that Carland Cross is going to be the next big bottleneck? I think there is a potential risk, but uh, between here and Carling Cross you've also got the uh, the branches off for St Austell and Newquay, which actually do take a significant amount of the traffic, so there'll be less of a bottleneck than there is at the moment. But for most people who have, for the last two years, to struggle get, to get between Bodmin and Temple, this is a great day, isn't it? It's a fantastic day. It's a fantastic day for the people, fantastic day for Cornwall.